you already know how a shadow is formed and to form a shadow we need three things an opaque object a source of light and a screen where the shadow will be casted now you have already studied how the shadow will be formed or what will be the characteristics of a shadow when there is a point source of light now every time all the lights are not point source take this example the sun the sun is so big we cannot say that it is a point source of light or take the example of this big torch here the torch will give us light now this is not point source of light so here we can say that if the opaque object is this tennis ball and the source of light is this torch so you can say that the source of light here is the bigger is bigger than this opaque object so what will be the characteristics of the shadow if the source of light is bigger than the opaque object let's see here you can see we have taken a big torch or you can say a big light that is bigger than the opaque object that is the ball and we have taken the screen you can see that in no time the shadow gets formed now previously we have told you that a shadow has two regions the dark the central and the dark part which is called the umbra and the lighter part that surrounds the umbra which is called the penumbra now here you can see that the umbra is way smaller than the penumbra or in other words you can say that the penumbra is way bigger than the umbra now let's see such characteristics of the shadow when the source of light is bigger than the opaque object first of all you can see both umbra and penumbra are formed what do you mean by this remember when we were using the point source of light no penumbra was formed so whenever you use a point source of light no penumbra is formed only umbra is formed but here the source of the light is not point source and the second thing it is bigger than the opaque object so both umbra and penumbra gets formed next you can say that umbra is smaller in size than penumbra i have already explained you that you can see it visually here that the umbra is way smaller than penumbra or the penumbra is bigger than the umbra so in this case always this will happen that when the source of light is bigger than the opaque object that is the ball here the umbra will be smaller or way smaller than the penumbra next now we take that distance exam here what we are doing the source of the light moves towards the object you can see that the source of the light is moving towards the object what distance is decreasing the distance between the source of light and the opaque object is decreasing what is this creating see first of all the shadow is getting bigger but if you notice see the umbra is getting smaller and the penumbra is getting bigger so you can say that whenever the source of the light moves towards the ob object that is the distance between source and of the light and the object that is the opaque object decreases the size of the penumbra increases you can see that and the size of the umbra decreases see how the size of the umbra is decreasing now let's do the other thing now what we are doing we are taking the source of light away from the object so what are we doing we are increasing the distance between this source of light and this object the source of light moves away from the object distance is increasing you can see that the shadow is decreasing in size now the shadow is having two regions let's see which region is decreasing or which region is increasing well you can say size of penumbra decreases have a look see how the penumbra is decreasing see this and the size of umbra increases see how this is increasing so now you know whenever the distance between the source of light and the object increases the size of the umbra increases but the size of penumbra decreases now 
keeping the torch and keeping the ball at the same place we are just moving the screen okay so screen moves towards the object you can see the screen is moving towards the object so what are we doing we are decreasing the distance between the ball and the screen distance between the ball and the screen is decreasing so what is happening to the shadow is in the shadow decreasing see the size of the shadow is decreasing now differentiate between the pum, uh, penumbra and umbra in this case the size of penumbra decreases look at this the size of the penumbra is decreasing and what about size of umbra you can see the size of umbra is increasing at is as it is coming forward the size of umbra increases now we do the other thing instead of bringing it forward we are taking it backward that we can do so the screen moves away from the object so if we move the screen away from the object what are we doing we are increasing the distance between the object and the screen distance is increasing so let's see what will be the effect on the shadow well you can clearly see that the shadow size is also increasing but what about the two regions well, the size of penumbra increases you can see it is increasing by a very big amount see how the penumbra is increasing and what about the size of umbra you can see how it is decreasing it has become so small so what were the characteristics of the shadow when the light source is bigger than the opaque object we have learnt all we have seen them visually let's recall them first of all both umbra and penumbra are formed unlike what unlike the case where point source of light was used there only umbra was formed but when the light source is bigger than the opaque object both umbra and penumbra will be formed now umbra is smaller in size than penumbra this will always be the case when the light source is bigger than the opaque object umbra will be smaller in size than the penumbra now the size of penumbra increases and umbra decreases when the source of light is moved towards the object and vice versa we have seen this in our example and the size of the penumbra increases and the size of the umbra decreases so you can see always the opposite happens with penumbra and umbra it is never the case that umbra and penumbra both are increasing or both are decreasing in these examples the size of the penumbra increases and umbra decreases when the screen is moved away from the op object and vice versa you can do the opposite also now you can try these at home with other objects also and see that all these characteristics are fulfilled